their Korean corn dogs. I got a Thai tea. I know. I know. Don't say nothing. I ain't even have to do all this. I didn't know it was going to be this big, though. Let's taste it real quick. Mmm, it's good, though. And I didn't want the boba at the bottom. I don't need all that. So I told her to give me each one that they had. They only have three kind, right? So they got the, the mozzarella, like the cheese, the, um sausage and cheese and they got a potato sausage and cheese okay so let me take a thumbnail real quick i don't know which one this is but let's just let's just oh let me take these out so that it could look like some oh it's gonna be sugar everywhere <laughs> this gonna be a messy mukbang okay they cute they little I saw the girl Erica on TikTok. I think Erica eats a uh, Erica eats America or something like that. Mmm, there's a lot of sugar on here. Mm mm mm. I'm gonna check another thumbnail. Oh, it's good though. It is good. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Hold on. One more bite. Mm. Now, I like Tiana's better. I don't know because it's bigger or. This one is full of sugar, though. <laughs> Do y'all see the goofy stuff that happens when you try to get a good cheese pull and a good thumbnail? <laughs> don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Okay. Let's try the other one. That one was just cheese. I got the window down, y'all. Because it's hot, of course. This is, oh, let's just do the... I guess this one is just sausage. What? Got some mustard and ketchup. Oh, that's right. I got that's a bad habit. Don't do that. Don't put don't put these things in your mouth. <laughs> Keep your hands all on. They're out here taking chances. All right, let's put a little mustard on it. Mm. Messy come up, bang. <laughs> oh, this one got the sausage in it. She said the sausage was made out of um fish. Let me see if I can taste that. I don't know about it.
Let me see. Hold a minute. Can you see the inside? Let me pinch it off. What kind of fish is it made out of? That fish? I don't know what that is. It smells like a hot, between a mixture of a hot dog and fish. <laughs> What did you eat, Casey? Let's see. Oh, wow. I don't know. Kiana put a hot dog in hers. Let's see. This one is the potato. Come on, sir. I'm in the middle of a mukbang. They look good. Mm. Potato is good. I didn't even know that lady was over there. Why is she part way back in? Oh, really? I part by her. I part by her car. Mmm. the crunchy potato on here. They hot too. Well, um, I guess you can see that. Mm-hmm. So, not only I didn't taste it all of them. Um, we went to, um, what's it called? Orientation today. For Alana School. Child, ain't no social distances. How can you social distance all them students? It just ain't no way. You know what I'm saying? And the teachers were so nice. So the phone don't overheat so fast. I put a little shield on it. So anyway, yeah, so the teacher, everybody was so nice. It seems like it's going to be easy to find your classes and stuff. I'm excited. That's a whole new journey. She in middle school, so sixth grade. Child, did you know they had yoga in middle school? I would have sure took yoga. I did not know them. they had yoga in middle school. <laughs> I was like, dang. Yeah, child. So, I'm, I'm like, wow. Mm. What the, oh, I didn't know they had free lunch and breakfast for all the students this year. That is so good. So you ain't got to worry about no students going hungry, you know? Because I told y'all about the story with Kenyon, right? Hold on. Let me add a little, little, little air. Because I feel myself in this start getting overheated. Oh, she putting on her makeup. Go ahead, baby. It tastes like a donut with cheese in it. Okay, so anyway. Can y'all hear that noise? I hope not. So, yeah, I didn't know that they had... Free lunch for all the students. Free lunch and breakfast this year for all of the students. I think that's so good. Because, I don't know if I, I know I told y'all this story, but y'all know I repeat stories, child. 
So I told y'all Kenyon didn't like the lunch in school, right? He did not like the lunch in high school. So he would just go all day just with a juice and maybe a cookie or something like that, right? So I would get away with, um, let's say we put $100 on his um, school bucks. And it would last a long time because you could look on there and see what he ate, which was cookie and Gatorade, cookie and Gatorade, whatever. So then all of a sudden, the money started dwindling faster. It was, and I was like, oh, you like the lunch now? Not that we had a problem with it. We was glad he was eating something because he wouldn't pack a lunch. He was in high school, y'all. So, um, but then he, I was like, oh, all of a sudden you like the lunch, huh? He told me, no, I don't eat that lunch. I was like, but your money going faster. He was like, oh, you know, this guy in my class or his friend or whatever, his mom lost his job, lost her job. And I just let him, I give him my, you know, lunch money, my lunch card and let him eat lunch every day. And I noticed that this had been happening. I want to say it was about two, three months, y'all, because for sure a month. I know that for sure it was a month. So I was like, Kenya, <laughs> that's, that's how big his heart is. That He is one of those people that will literally take his shoes off and give it to him because he did that too. His um, friends, parents couldn't afford like the band shoes. You know, the band shoes are expensive. And y'all know we got big boys. So their shoes is 15, 14 size, 14 size, 15 size, 16 or whatever the case may be, right? So he literally gave his shoes we had just bought to his friend because he was like oh my friend don't have no shoes and he like doesn't even think twice about it right and i love that he has a big heart but i'm like but what are you gonna wear oh i figured out <laughs> it's like so anyway the boy's mom with the lunch going back to her he um she lost her job i think she was a nurse or something because remember when they had the um the nurses didn't couldn't get any hours or whatever and they were cutting slashing hours or what have you well, it was during that time. Now the nurses, they bank it, baby. But I get in that in a minute. But, um, yeah. So I'm so glad because he, he was like, he, my friends stay hungry. So I didn't want him to see him hungry. So I gave him my lunch card so he can, I can make sure he eats or whatever. And I was like, he was like, his mom, his mom doesn't have a job. I said, baby, your mama don't have no job. I don't have a job either. <laughs> this was when right after I quit my job. And, um... Yeah, I was just like this boy here, but I'm glad, you know, the like the the boy was eating. The child was eating. But um yeah, so I'm so glad no child has to go hungry because you know there are literally kids and I know y'all have corrected me several times like KC, we don't need to shut down again because a lot of these kids the only time they get to eat is when they're at school and I was like, Yeah, I didn't think about that part. So now, you know, the kids can get something to eat or whatever what have you and i was like well that's a good thing that that's that's really good um so the parents don't really have to worry about that now will the child like the food we don't know you know it's up in the air but when you get hungry enough you'll figure you'll eat something off their school menu um but anyway yeah speaking of the nurses yeah so i was like watching this uh nurse on tiktok and she was talking about how the travel nurses now are making like she said anywhere from four to, I want to say eight, I'll say four to eight, but it's probably more a week, depending on what your contract is. And I'm like, that is such a blessing because they weren't getting paid, you know, like that. Now they're able to pay off their student loans. They're able to buy houses. They are able to start businesses. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, they're really getting paid, um, what they should have brought to me been getting paid long time ago, you know, and so, teachers as well. I think teachers, the, the pay should be bumped up for teachers as well. But when I saw the travel nurse, she was like, this is like life changing opportunity. So a lot of them have quit just the main hospital and now they're traveling to different states and staying in different states. And some of these um, contracts, they pay for your hotel, they pay for your um, travel, they give you a meal expense, you know what I mean? Um, so I was like, man, that is so phenomenal because opportunities like that don't happen all the time. Cause you know, nursing, they, once at one point nursing was saturated, you know? And nurses couldn't find a job. And, and especially coming fresh out of school, they were kind of picky. They was like, you don't have any experience, we can't hire you. And you can't get experience unless somebody hire you, right? Give you a chance. 
But yeah, I thought that was so cool. So shout out to all the nurses, travel nurses, you know, nurses that's on the, you know, COVID floors and, and taking chances and staying away from their families so they don't get their families sick or what have you. That is such a great thing. That is such a great thing. Life-changing opportunities. I'm happy for all the nurses, all the CNAs, all everybody that's <laughs> taking this opportunity. Even though we're in a bad situation, a pandemic, it's not bad for everybody. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes there's an opportunity, a door of opportunity that comes in that thing that's supposed to tear us down. But um, yeah, so shout out to all of y'all. Mm-hmm. Uh, get your money, invest your money, pay your house off, pay your loans off, whatever you got to do. Whatever you can do that you didn't have the opportunity to do before. <laughs> so, yeah, this was cool. I just want to try it. You know, you be watching <laughs> different people. And you'll be like, oh, when I get down there, I'm trying that. I'm trying that. I'm trying that. So I'm out here just trying different stuff. Mm -mm -mm. You look crunchy. What do you look crunchy? You said potatoes, but tell that little bread. Mm -mm. But yeah. I still like Kiana's better. I don't know if it's because. Well, one, because it had hot dog in it. <clears throat> and two. She had it all dressed up with the ketchup and the mustard and all of that. and <laughs> But, yeah, if you just never tried it and you want to try it. I'm over here, out here in Davie, Davie, Florida. I think it was off of Griffin, even though it took me the back way. I was like, where, the, where is it taking me? Because when I was coming down the street, I was like, wait a minute, these houses. It's talking about turn left in a mile. I'm like, Siri, where we going? <laughs> mm -hmm. I have never seen fish. What the, what, the, what, the, what the fish come out the can? I don't know if you can see it. Hold on, let me see. Yeah, she said that fish. If you know what kind of fish that is, let me know. I didn't know that would fit. But anyway, just a quick video, y'all. Pop in, pop out. I got sugar everywhere, child. Everywhere. So, yeah, that was it. We went to the orientation this morning. Let me see what I had in my notes. Oh, y'all gonna tell y'all about yoga, the free lunch. Um, I think that was it. The classes weren't too far apart, which was really nice. It, they weren't too bad. They have all the students, like, you know, by grade level in different sections of the school. So that's good. Oh, yeah, so that's good. Honey child. Woo! I don't know when y'all gonna get this video. I'm just trying to <clears throat> record some videos. So, because I wanted to try couple things, couple things. But I ain't nowhere in the world I'm finna drink this big old drink. I don't even know how much it was. I guess I could look at my receipt. But anyway, so thank y'all for joining me, chit-chatting with me, chilling with me, while I try these Korean corn dogs and down here in South Florida. <laughs> I love y'all. Hope y'all enjoy y'all day. I will see y'all on the next video. Bye, y'all.